To create schedules in when to work, on your homepage, go to the Schedules menu. Here, you'll see that we offer many different schedule views. You'll want to experiment with all of these to see which works best for you. You'll also see at the bottom that you can find your recently deleted shifts and any templates you've created. Let's create our first schedule using the By Employee view. The easiest way to add shifts is to simply click the Add Shifts button. You can choose a position, for example, Plaza Cashier. Let's say that you're going to need a Plaza Cashier from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. When to Work will auto-calculate the length of that shift. You can enter a description, and you can check off any days this week where you'd like to create the shift. Let's say this is a Monday through Friday shift. If you need more than one Plaza Cashier, you might just go ahead and create multiple copies of this shift all at once. If you'd like to set the shift to a specific text color on your schedule, you can do that as well. In the bottom section, you can choose which employees you'd like to assign, or you can just create it without assigning it. Click Add Shift, and you'll see confirmation that the shifts have been added to your schedule. You can create more shifts, or you can click Close. To assign a shift, simply click on the shift and drag it to the employee you'd like to assign. If you prefer, you can click on a shift and then click Available Employees at the bottom. You'll see a list of the various employees who are enabled to work this position, including how many hours they've already been assigned and how many hours are left for this week. Simply select an employee and click Save. You can also create a shift by simply clicking on a cell. Let's say you want to create a shift for Jess Fargo on Wednesday. Click on that cell. Select the position and times you want him scheduled. You could make that shift for multiple days or just for the one day. When you're ready, click Add Shift, then OK. And you'll see the shifts right there on your screen. If you already have a schedule in spreadsheet format, you can save it as a CSV file and you can upload it all at once. Simply click Upload, click Choose File, and select your CSV file. In step two, you'll make sure that each of your columns matches a field in our system. For instance, we use start time, end time, duration. Just go through and match up all of your columns to our columns. Make sure that everything looks right and click next step. We'll confirm one more time and then upload the data. Note that When to Work always gives you a summary, letting you know if anything unusual happened with your upload. Notice that five shifts were unassigned, and the note says that that's because the employee was already assigned at that time. We had already created some shifts on the schedule, so that makes sense. Click Close. Your schedule file has been uploaded. There are some unassigned shifts on this schedule. If you click Autofill, our system will assign those shifts for you. If your employees have entered their availability, or if you've set up various constraints or entered time off, Autofill will keep that in mind, and it will optimize your schedule based on all of those items. Close the window, and there's your assigned schedule. Not every shift is always assigned under Autofill. Sometimes there just aren't enough employees available. If you'll need roughly the same shifts assigned every week, go ahead and click Save Template. You can save this schedule for use again and again. Give it a name and click Save Week. Now you can navigate to a future week and click Import. 
Here, you can select your save template. If you'd like the same employees to work the same shifts every week, you can just import that template as is. Or you could check Unassign All Imported Shifts to import all of your shifts without any assignments. You can assign those shifts manually, or you can autofill them again. Now, managers can see your schedule, but employees cannot. When you're ready to have employees see this week, click Publish. If you publish this schedule, your employees will be able to see all of these shifts when they sign in. If you're not completely ready to show the full schedule, click the Selected Positions tab. You can choose just certain positions to publish, say, just the Galleria positions. Click Publish, and only the Galleria shifts will be shown to employees. Our system will underline those shifts so that you'll know which ones are published. You'll also see a published status line at the top of your screen. Solid red means fully published, but purple means that it's partially published. That means that only some of the positions are published. When you're ready, click Publish again. You can select more positions one at a time, or you can go to Publish All Positions and publish the whole week. Now the line has turned red and it says Published Schedule at the top, indicating that your employees can now see this full schedule. One final note, if you're using saved templates for scheduling, you can always go into our template editor to create new templates or to look at your existing templates. Select your template and you'll see it here. You can make changes to the template if you click Edit or you can delete it entirely. Templates are an excellent way to make creating your weekly schedules fast and easy.